Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. I truly do not know if I am in focus or not. This is a new camera, this is the first time I'm using it to record a YouTube video and I guess we'll just see in post-production how this all turns out. So with quarantine and civil rights and all these things that are going on the past couple months, I don't, murder hornets, like, ugh, Jesus. Like, I have been very stressed. I have gone back to comfort eating. I have done this, that, and the other thing, and I've lost some muscle and I've gained some fat. I think that overall weight gain was probably like two to three pounds, but I know that my body composition, it feels a lot different. I do not feel good. I just know that I need to rein it in, start getting it under control so I feel better, which is always the point for me when it comes to health and weight loss is feeling better. So I'm trying out the 50-50 method, which is kind of just like you eat what you normally would eat, which for me is like a high raw vegan diet, whole foods, plant-based, you know, but you're trying to make half of your meals greens. So this morning I drank a juice that I made. I was gonna film me making it. I decided not to because my juicer is uh, temperamental and kind of spurts juice everywhere. But the juice was pineapple, orange, and then it had lots of greens like spinach and kale and romaine and cucumber and celery and chard and all these things. And I drank two of these jars, which were 24 ounces, so 48 altogether. And then I worked out, and it's about three now, uh, the 345 actually, and I had my breakfast at noon, and this is generally where I eat my lunch, and then at six, I eat dinner, and at nine, I have like a snack because I'm at work, because I work at night. And let's see, this is just a very simple smoothie where half is spinach, and then I have a couple ripe Altofo mangoes I needed to, that I needed to get rid of, so I threw them in here. And then the equivalent of about two frozen bananas. So I'm gonna blend that up. So I wanted to make something a little bit more interesting for lunch for you guys, but honestly, in the interest of time, smoothies are just so easy and quick. And it was about 32 ounces in this container. So yep, I will drink all of it. I think that, well, my juice this morning was probably like 300 calories, and this is about 500. Um, I don't generally talk about my macro and calorie breakdown in these videos, but just in case you were like, oh my God, how are you drinking 32 ounces of smoothie? It's because it was mostly water and spinach, so. That doesn't look like it's in focus either. God, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I'll figure this camera out. If you've never had a green smoothie before, I promise you, you cannot taste the spinach at all. This just tastes like mango and banana. And don't be afraid to blend with water. I was kind of wigged out by that in the beginning too but it's honestly no big deal at all. But if you truly don't want to, you know, throw in your favorite plant milk instead, it's all good. And as far as where I've been this whole time, I did want to create some nice, fun, inspiring quarantine content on both of my channels, but like the week before shit really hit the fan, my camera broke. And that's why I have this one right now, but it took me a while to work up the money to buy it. It's not as nice as my other one and I hope that one day I can get that one fixed and then I can use both or just switch back to that one but for the time being this is how I'm gonna make videos <laughs> and as I sip my smoothie I am getting my dinner ready to pack to take to work with me so this is about seven of those little tiny baby adorable potatoes and I just cut them into wedges and then this is most of a bag of frozen cauliflower. I have put frozen cauliflower and broccoli and uh, asparagus even too on a baking sheet like this alongside something raw and nothing bad has happened. They've cooked perfectly fine. I have a little bit left in here. I'm gonna use this and another bit of potato, onion, carrot, 
and I'm gonna make a cheese sauce to go on top of all of this. I am going to microwave about a cup of this Trader Joe's fire, what is it, fire roasted? No, just regular roasted corn. And I'm going to mix that in uh, when it's all done. But for now, to season all this, because you guys know I don't cook with oil, I won't be adding that. Generally to like a wet potato that just got cut, you can add seasoning to it. It sticks pretty okay. And this is just the 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. like that you can do a little over here this probably won't stick as well but that's okay because it's gonna have cheese sauce on top and it's not gonna matter and then for my snack that I have at like 9 o'clock because I work uh, 6 to 12 tonight so uh, at 9 I'm gonna have these two huge navel oranges and I'm just gonna cut and peel them put them in a little container so it's easy to eat because I do delivery so I am in a vehicle the whole time and I need food that I can kind of just grab and eat as I go. As for this, this will take a little bit more finesse but it's worth it. Okay for the cheese sauce we have boiling one russet potato, a little bit over a fourth of a white onion, uh, like a handful of baby carrots and then what was left over of the cauliflower in that bag. And then in here our tray and this is at 450 and I'm gonna be doing it for about uh, 40 minutes give or take uh, I'm doing 20 minutes now and then I'll flip the whole tray over and do 20 more and in the meantime I'm just gonna cut this orange up I right, got this all chopped up and ready to go and don't worry plastic container police this is not something that we purchased it came with Chinese food and we are reusing it uh, this is all microwaved and ready to go. The, the veggies over there are almost done. You want them soft that you can like very, very easily pierce them with a fork. And then here are the different seasonings and things I'm gonna use in the sauce. So I've got nutritional yeast, of course. I'm using that 21 seasoning salute again. Salt and pepper, minced garlic, a little bit of Dijon mustard and some turmeric, and that's mostly for color, but it does have a lot of health benefits, especially when you combine it with black pepper. I'm just gonna chuck all this in with that stuff in about a cup of the water that is boiling in, a cup or two. Uh, all of this is eyeballed. I don't have specific measurements for anything. It's just kind of whatever I feel like. All right, so here's the cheese sauce, all set and ready to go. It's nice and warm. This is something that you could easily add like a half a cup of raw cashews to and it will make it really creamy and awesome but I am trying to keep it a little bit lower calorie than that especially because as I said at the start of this video I am trying to lose some weight. Yeah, I'll just let this chill here until all that's ready over there. It's about midway now I'm gonna flip it in like two minutes. So 25 minutes for this time seems to be perfectly okay. I would say anywhere between 20 and 40 is like range for something like this. It all depends on the size of your potatoes and how much you have and what's going on here. And I will say if I feel these, they are soft and they are hot and they don't feel like they were ever frozen. And while I wait for those to cool off a little bit more before I put them in my container, I was just making the drink that I was gonna take. I will admit that I am not super good at drinking water. I wish I was, but I'm just not. So I have been taking like a cranberry lemonade with me every time. So it's about two tablespoons of this pure cranberry juice and about two tablespoons of just lemon juice. I put in a full dropper of stevia into that and then I'm gonna fill the rest with water. So here it is, I mixed all of the stuff together and then maybe about half of the container of cheese sauce and that seems to be the perfect amount. I know it looks very pretty but I promise it tastes really good and I can have that tomorrow. I will probably make the same exact thing. This, my oranges, and this lemonade is what I'm going to take to work with me. I will not film that because I'm not toting my camera around my whole shift, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. I really appreciate you watching. I hope that you liked the recipes I shared, and I'm sorry that I'm not showing my face, but I am really not feeling myself today, which is okay, it happens. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but let me say, 
in the current climate of the world, this video does not matter and black lives matter. So if you want some links to donations, petitions, uh, information about protests, please go visit my Graveyard Vomit Instagram. I'm posting links and information about that every single day. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye.